We're going to excite some people. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Robert. Robert, I see you there. You kind of like not red riding hood, but gray riding hood. <laughs> yes. <laughs> love it. I love it. Good to see everybody this Friday morning and going into the weekend. And I, I got to give a shout out. I have a former player that's tuning in. Oh. And Casey Butler, prayers go up for you. Listen, this man is headed to a big job opportunity where he's uh moving on up it's great moving on up to the east side Congratulations. And here's the thing here's the thing he sent me the nicest text this morning that made my week and it's something coach myra miles we talk about a lot it has nothing to do with me he was a phenomenal phenomenal player in our organization but you don't ever know the ripple effect and he reminded me a day of a hot hot summer day where we were roasting them out on the field. And he said, you made a statement during that day that as I was driving, now this is years later. I don't want to say Casey's getting older, but now I'm going to tell you, he don't have as much hair today as he had back then. But here's the thing. He said, I was reminded today as I was driving to that interview or driving to my interview and doing my thing, taking a step up, what you reminded me of. And that was years later. So for this old coach, I, I, I smile on my face today. Thank you for that, Casey. And uh, we pray for you today. And we know you're doing big things out there. So the word for today is excite. He obviously excited my day even more. But... <laughs> Coach has got a really good one today. I've already looked at her notes, so I'm excited about that. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna jump through mine after I saw hers because she's got the better, she's got the better script yeah, awesome. today. Mm -mm. Excite to call to activity. Let me ask you a question. I want to ask you this: Do you ever lose your mojo? You know that mojo. You know you're feeling it, you're feeling it, and then all of a sudden. You wake up and you just start day after day after day. You kind of feel like you're losing your mojo a little bit, right? You just don't want to get up. You just don't want to work. You just don't want possibly to work out or do any of the million things that we all need to do every day to be successful. That mojo is kind of slipping from you. And you sense it. You worry about it a little bit. Well, step one here is to get it back you got to excite yourself. You got to do something that jokes yourself, like, like shocks, your, shocks your human spirit and puts some excitement back in you. You know, we were put on this earth to thrive, not to survive. We start surviving. We lose our mojo. We start to slip. But we can always spark it back. We can always ignite it. And one day we can ignite our excitement. And, and but, but how do you do it? That's what I want to focus on this morning on Excite. How do you do it? How do you get yourself excited to do what you need to do to get done? Or maybe to do what you once did when you were excited. Number one, you got to challenge yourself to start. You just got to simply start. Sometimes, you know, I've said this on here. I'll say it again. I had a really wise person once told me when you do something, he said, you know something, Brent? Isn't it interesting when you do something, something happens? <laughs> I said, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty simple. So sometimes you just challenge yourself to start. You just got to simply start. Number two, you got to reward yourself. Like set a goal and then set a reward to that goal to excite yourself, right? If I lose five pounds, then I'm going to go take a day off and play golf. If you're somebody that likes to do that. If I, if, if I make this phone call to this prospect that scares me to death, you know what I'm going to do this afternoon? I'm going to go out and I'm going to have a 30 minute trip where I love to fish off the pier. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to reward myself for a job that I really don't want to do. And it, and it can build excitement around that. Number three, I got to practice gratitude. If I want to get my excitement back, I got to be grateful. So maybe you're, you know, you don't want to do the laundry. 
So you go, man, what I do? Well, be grateful. Be grateful that your kids are messing up the clothes. They're healthy enough to put on three or four or five or six pair of clothes a day, right? They're healthy enough to go out there and jump in the mud hole. And you're having to wash the clothes, but you're grateful for that. You know, as you're going for that job interview today or that next step up or that promotion, you're, you're, you don't know where you're going, but you know this, you're grateful that God gave you the talent and the spirit and the knowledge and the education and the fight and desire inside to go make an impact and a stamp on the world. Be grat Show gratitude. Number four, jump around. And sometimes you just got to move your body. You got to get up. You got to jump around. That'll excite you, right? Number five, make an energetic playlist. I know Coach Myra Miles does this. <laughs> Like she got some jump around music in her. So when you don't want to make that call, you put on that, you put on Thunderstruck. And that gets you jacked. Or, or, or you don't want to go work out, but you get that music going, Kelly Brown. And woo, before you know it, you out there, you you walking now. You're getting after it. Kelly done cut her screen off as soon as <laughs> I, I, I said her name. Number six, you got to tap into your why. Like, like, why do you want to be excited? Like, why do you want to do what it, what it is that you have maybe lost your mojo at? Number seven, find an accountability partner. Two by two, two by two, somebody to run with. Number eight, take some time to dream. I want to tell you, it doesn't matter how old we are, don't stop dreaming, right? If you've lost your mojo, take some time to dream again. Dream about your future and where you want to go. The things that excite you are not random. They are connected to your purpose. So follow them. Coach Meyer Miles, I'll turn it to you. Hey, that was awesome. Yeah, when you're saying jump around, I had the song in my head and I see Anthony had it on here. So put add that to your playlist. It'll definitely get you going. But good morning. Um, I'm just excited about today. I try to be this excited every morning, but I'm going to tell you what, I was so excited about this word today when Coach sent it to me that I woke up at 2 a.m. It's the first thing I started thinking about. And I thought, this is, I'm thinking it's probably six. I get up, look at my phone. No, it's two. So I go back to sleep. But anyway, what excites you? You think about that. What excites you? I'm going to tell you here a few things that really excite me. First and foremost, I'm real excited when my eyes open and I wake up and I realize, good Lord, done bless me with another day. That's the first thing. So then, you know, I think about friendships. I think about travel. I think about happiness. I think about love of my family and friends. I think about choices. I think about giving. Another thing that makes me excited is the abundance that I've been blessed with. I'm excited about wellness. You know, I've lost some weight. And yesterday I got my hair cut and I lost 10 more pounds when she cut all that hair off my head. So <laughs> I got a head full of hair. Anyway, sidetrack. Sorry, chase the squirrel. But I'm excited about the opportunity that we have to help and, and do positive things as far as all the diversity in the world. I'm excited about having fun. I'm excited about new people. Every time we have new people join our call, I get so excited. You know, it's kind of like that saying, make new friends, keep the old, one is silver and one is gold. I get excited about that. So I'm asking you, what excites you? Write it down. I promise you, if you write it down and look at it, you have no choice. You know, all of these things help drive me, but why? Because, okay, come on, y'all. How can we not get excited when we think of all of the blessings and opportunities that are afforded to us every single day. I mean, think about that. It's about perspective and choices. And you know what? Guess who's in control of those two things? Me and you. We talk about this a lot. We are in total control of those two things. And that, if we have those two things in control, that should excite us every minute, every second of every day. We choose to focus on whatever, so why not make our focus on excitement? You know, some other things that really get me jacked up and excited are, and I'm going to say these, and just 
ask yourself, do these not excite you too? I had a pep rally on my front porch, Kelly, yesterday. I thought about you with victory. I had some packages delivered to my front door. I got so excited and I looked down there from New Age. I just got fired up. That excited me because I knew it was going to help me continue my uh, road with the, what I'm doing. You know, being able to fit into a smaller size of clothes, that excites me. It also excites me that I realize the weekend is here. It really excites me that every single weekday morning, I get to start my day with everyone on our call. Truly, that is one of my favorite, favorite things. I miss y'all terribly Saturday and Sunday. So, you know, receiving and giving compliments, that excites me. Hearing great news about family and friends, it excites me. Okay, here's one that some of y'all are gonna think, oh, that's not me, but I know the truth. I got real excited when I saw that one of my favorite shows on Netflix has another season coming. So, <laughs> I mean, so say what you want about that, but I'm fired up. You know, it's exciting to complete a workout. And, you know, to wrap it up, the bottom line is we should all be excited because we have such a great opportunity to make a positive difference in someone's life today starting with ourself. We start with ourselves, then we're going to spread it out to everyone else. So I encourage you, write the things down on a piece of paper this morning about what excites you, you know, and have a great day. Good Lord bless you and keep you this weekend. And let's just have a fantastic, and, and I said today's going to be a fun fact Friday. Well, I gave you some facts, so have some fun. And it's Friday. I love y'all. Have a great day. Coach, I got an assignment. I, all right, let's hear it. I got I got an assignment, and I loved. I I've already I read over Coach's notes this morning, and I I knew it was going to be fabulous, and it was. And I thought, you know what? I want to give something going into the weekend because not only do we need to be excited, but we got an opportunity to excite someone else. We really do. And then I promise you, as I was thinking about an assignment, Casey Butler sent me that text. I just got it, like right before the call, a little bit before the call. And so I challenge each and every one of us today to reach out to somebody via text and just give them a word. You go, well, why not just call them? I want it to be a text because it's something they can keep, right? They can keep a text. They can look back on it on, on a rainy day. Send a text and just say, I thought of you today. You made a difference in my life. You made a statement that I followed today. Whatever it is, but just that little thing, I promise you this, it'll make their week. Whose week can you make today by that simple text before the end of the day? That's my assignment. Guys, we love you. We're grateful for you. Thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you back on Monday. Have a great one. All right, guys. Love y'all. Love you. Have a Have great, great weekend. Have a great Bye. weekend.